Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video we are going to be doing something a little bit different. This is basically going to be a two for one. So we're going to be doing cutting losses and important cargo. So cutting losses we need to move this truck and this trailer. So here's where we're at on Harvest Corp and again the truck is here trailers right here so I'll just click on them to show you and those have got to go to the corporate warehouse way over there the other one we're gonna do is important cargo which has got to go to the airport and that's these two cargo so the plan is to use this crane truck pick up both the cargo put them on the trailer and then use the collab to carry the trailer the cargo and then tow the truck so we're going to go up to here, drop that off at the airport, and then go this way and into the uh, corporate warehouse. So we're going to try and do a two for one. So with that being said, let's just jump into it here, huh? Let's uh, roll this truck up as far as we can without dipping into the water. I don't think we'll be able to reach it, but we're going to try. Yeah, there's no way. Okay, we can get the first one. I mean, that's something, I guess. Whoa. Started moving the whole truck. Okay. Oh, by the way, we're using the GMC MH9500. Yes, the beginning truck. Or basically the beginning truck of the game. So we'll just roll forward, that should be good. I even thought about possibly putting that truck onto the trailer. I don't know, I, maybe I'll do that? I think I could. If I put the cargo at the back and I put the truck up at the front, I should be able to still pack it. I might try that actually. Because then I wouldn't have to tow it. But man, that would be a heavy quite a heavy load and uh, probably very top heavy as well so there we go let's do that I'm gonna restore just so that we have our uh, center of gravity back to a lot lower I'm not sure if this this uh, truck slash crane would even be able to pick that up Okay, this doesn't look that deep. I've never been in here. What is it even? A, okay, a Royal BM-17 it looks like. I know that's a pretty heavy truck. Okay, it looks like we don't need to go too far. Can't tell. Yeah, we're good. By the way, you start this task right above my crane right now, that square over there. Okay, let's try and back this thing back up onto land. And my truck is having none of it. Oh god. That was close. Okay, let's try reverse with diff lock on. Okay. Just gotta be a little bit careful here because you don't want to turn on a slope. Oh. Okay, we'll just pack this quick. We'll uh, detach trailer. We'll attempt to rescue ourselves. Even as I saw it, I'm just like, oh, this is not going to turn out well. But I just... I didn't really, uh, I don't, there was nothing really to attach to, so I didn't feel like I had very many options there. Okay, let's uh, pick this truck back up. 
I think this should be an easy pickup. It's not that heavy. Yeah. Um. There we go. Perfect. Okay. I was just trying to get it a little bit out of the way. Let's uh, stop engine, change trucks. Let's get this thing back into place. Whew, sorry, this one might take a little while to set up, guys. I mean, I could have done this beforehand, but I like to kind of just start it with whatever, you know, whatever you got to do. If that makes sense. Let's get back under this and attach trailer. And stop engine. All right. Now we can grab the uh, cargo here. If we can get past the truck. Seriously? Wow. Okay, well, apparently we're going to have to get the truck out of the way. That was a pretty good uh, reset, or whatever you want to call it there. Because that truck is facing the right way to pull it out pretty easily now. I keep forgetting that the, uh, the exhaust keeps catching on the crane. I think I'm just going to move this to the side for now. And then we'll pick it up again. Here. Now we're putting out the... Uh, what do you guys call them? Do you call them legs or arms for the crane? Or do you call it an anchor? Sometimes I call it each, just like Taiga and Taiga. I just I switch it up. I, I think legs is probably more proper, but I don't know. Okay, let's lower that thing down as we extend. That should be good. There we go. Uh, let's stop. Let's change trucks. Let's pack. Unpack pack, I guess. So I think we do have enough room on here for the Royal BM-17. I'm not positive. I think I'm going to attempt to put it on there and just see what happens. So, I guess we'll start the engine again. Let's put the legs in. Or I guess we'll just restore crane. That, that would work. Let's pull this truck out and right next to the collab. Alright, I'm going to pull forward just to get a, a better more straight shot backwards. I don't want to fall into this ditch we got here. There we go. It's a little bit much, but all right. Okay, we'll put up put up our anchor. I don't think this will work. I think I think this will be too heavy. But you know what? It might even just ride up on my truck and get there. We'll see. Okay, this is sort of working, actually. Okay, what if I pulled it this way? Wow. Ooh, that almost took me over with it. Okay, so... I think I gotta pull it. I gotta pull it down to get both the tires on there. All 
Or maybe I won't be able to get both the tires, I'm not sure. We almost went over. What if... So now the truck's kind of screwed. I'm gonna try to pull it over the edge. I might tip over on this, but whatever. Attach winch. Let's try and get... Yeah, I don't know, maybe we'll try the back. Turn the engine on and try and reverse. I forgot I had it in reverse. All right, there we go. Oh, as I tip it back over. Oh, God, all right. Let me just drop most of the fuel in there, and let's get going, I guess. So this is just what it's going to be right here. So this is going to be a really slow-moving episode, and I don't even... I feel like I probably shouldn't even do this. Just because it's going to take so long. I know this is going to like hit on a bunch of stuff and yeah, I don't know. Oh well, I guess. We're just going to try to get across this as as fast as possible. Oh my jeebus. I think since I had it in high, I couldn't really brake all that well. So we're stuck on something already. Oh, it's that tree, isn't it? Yep, that tree I... God. I don't know why they put a tree right there. That's like seriously in the worst place. Like I'm as far to the left as I can go, or I guess, yeah, left as I can go. And there's no, no way around this tree. Oh, there we go, sort of. Except now we're kind of stuck. Oh. I'm like so far off the road. Okay, let's try uh, something like this. There we go. Oh man. Oh, oh, there we go. We got it, sort of. All right, yep, we're good. We're good. I'm gonna go across this bridge. I'm just gonna switch to one of those other trucks and pull that 
that truck up to this one before we move on. All right, we got it across. And uh, yeah, now we're gonna try and winch it up again. Oh God. Seriously? There we go. I hate when the game doesn't allow me to choose where I want to winch to. But basically where I want to go is just follow this off to my left here. And this could be a really bad idea, I don't know. But I want to sort of go down this, not even shoreline, but up and over these hills and deliver to the airport. You can see it up there. It's not that far away. It's just this is such a big load and I'm already winched up, so if I start to fall, I can't winch onto something. So I don't know, it's probably a really, really bad idea, but uh, I mean, good ideas aren't exactly the most entertaining, right? So, oh dude, we're struggling with even this. Dude, we can't even move. Wow. Yep, I guess it's gonna have to be low going up over this hill. Low and slow. Oh, maybe. Nope. I tried high for just a second. That that was the truck was not having it. Alright, I think I'm gonna try to go just inside this tree, but make my way left, but I gotta I got make it really wide, obviously. Good. Alright, that one's passed. Yeah, now we're just gonna try and go across this. You can kind of see there's a road over on the other side. Man, I feel like I took the most craziest route for this. Oh well. It might be the quickest though, I don't know. Well, probably not the quickest because we have a, a truck behind us and to be honest, you could pick a better setup for these cargo containers, that's for sure. I just, yeah, took the trailer that was already there. And actually, I think I have a trailer up here, the heavy one that I dropped. So, yeah, I don't know, that's kind of funny. Alright, the truck's out of fuel now. I don't know, maybe it was out of fuel right away, but it, it said turn on, and I pushed it, and it nothing, it turned on for a split second turned off, so yeah, you can guys can see it turn on and off. Let's try and get around the trees. Okay, that that works. This didn't start out very well. Yeah, there's the, the saddle high over there. I gotta track this mission, hang on. Okay, I'm gonna turn left here. Oh, I got a fuel station here, that's right. So I can fuel up. I'm gonna turn left here and go around and then I'm gonna go back out the other way, so. Perfect. Yeah, I just stole the, oops. I just stole the fuel from the Taiga after I brought this truck over, so I started with a full 380, basically. And I stole it from the GMC. And I stole it from the, uh, the Voron earlier. I suppose I could steal it from this too. Might as well, right? I'm gonna move that truck out of the way though. Okay, let's make our turn. It's gotta be... oh shoot. Let's see if we can winch to it. There we go. Ooh, thought I'd make it inside. Oh, uh, well. 
I'm pulling it as hard as I can. All right, let's yeah, let's pull the winch a little closer here. Detach, deliver. So there we go, 3,300 and 4,300. Or, uh, 4, 430, sorry. And now we gotta get this delivered to... I'm gonna track this again. We gotta deliver it to the corporate warehouse. I just thought about this. I guess I could, since I went past the gas station there, I could have dropped fuel into the BM-17 and then uh, refueled myself again and been able to use it as a, like turn it on, use it to help push or pull or whatever. Oh well. I think it's basically just up over that hill. You, I think you can even see the silo and stuff. I'm pretty sure that's where it's at. But we're just gonna follow this road If I'm not mistaken, this road goes right to it. Maybe right to it is the wrong word, but... Um, it goes to another road that goes right to it, I think. Because we have to split off left. I think I'm just going to go up into this field. I'm not going to try and make that turn. Oh, and it's even speeding up. It's like, oh yeah, this is a better road. Yeah, not bad. Oh shoot, yeah, I know where I'm at now. Alright, well, this is not going to turn out well. Okay. Now I gotta turn really sharp here to try and go straight onto this. There we go. Okay, actually that worked out pretty well. I was afraid that, because I, I kind of, I was going to say screwed myself, but basically I wasn't going to be able to make it back to that road. So I was going to have to make a, a change in the route. I keep forgetting that I'm going to switch it back today, but I guess I'll do that once our, our truck switches back down to first. Oh, well. How about stops? As long as we can keep, keep crawling along. Just not get stuck on something. Nice, barely missed it. Yeah, so I'm pretty sure this road curves back to the right. Well, obviously it does. But after this, it curves left around this hill, and then a little ways up in front of that, it meets another road, and we'll have to split it to the left. Ooh. Oh, okay. But yeah, we'll have to split off going to the left, and then the corporate warehouse is just a little bit down the road from there. So to be honest, I'm really surprised at how well this went. I know I started out really bad, but I wouldn't consider that too bad. Oh shoot. Just because, I don't know, I it wasn't like during the route. It was sort of preparation, I guess. That's what I would call it. Oh shoot, I, I tried to winch that tree right there and pull myself to the left to make this turn a little easier. But it just winched the truck closer because I was already winched up. But actually, that, that turn went really well. Let's see how the truck does. Almost perfect. Wow, I barely missed that tree. Okay, so here's where the road meets, and I think I'm just going to go to the left right here. The corporate warehouse is just up the road there. You can see it now. So yeah, once we started moving, we did really well. It just took took a little bit to get the the uh, cargo containers and the trailer or truck and everything set to go. All right, let's turn off the road here. J 
Just a little bit faster, I think. And then we'll probably smash the truck on the rocks. Okay, no smashing. It hit the rocks, but no smashing. Just inside, very nice. Alright, I'm curious to see what you guys think about this video, because normally I, I try and do one per video, but this one was just too close to not do multiple. I mean, I could have... I lied. I could have easily done not done multiple, because these are actually two pretty... I wouldn't say tough, but tough to do together. Like, if, if there's one where you have to bring, like, two wooden planks and three of this, like, that one kind of makes sense to combo up and just throw it in a five-slot trailer, but... Oh, man, this truck's going to hit it so hard. Yep. But this one... With a long trailer... Oh god, we're gonna hit this tree pretty hard too. No? Okay. But this one with the trailer and the truck and then the other cargo, it's... It's not ideal. But... I mean, it gives you a trailer to use for the cargo, sorta, of, so... Oh, there we go. 7300 and 780 for that. Alright guys, that is gonna be it for this episode. As always, stay tuned for the next one. Thank you guys for watching. If you want to watch another video, there's a random video on screen and another playlist. Please be sure to share the video, like it, comment, and subscribe. Turn on those bell notifications so you're notified when I upload. And until next time, peace.